Hey you guys, really quickly I just wanted to show you um, a frames per second counter that I borrowed from this OpenGL tutorial at OpenGLTutorial.org. Anyways, <clears throat> so I got the code here and I kind of changed it a little bit, not very much though. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just just finished eating. Okay, so you just do an initialization of last time equals get time and then the number of frames that it's counting each second and then the display frames like what the last value of the frames per second was in the last second so <coughs> excuse me each time through your render loop your game loop you get the current time you s increase the number of frames and you calculate the distance between the last time and the current time last time being the initialization that, that's not updated every every frame. Now if that time stretches as it will with each frame further and further and it gets greater than a second then it falls into here and it changes the display frames which is displayed every frame no matter what changes the display frames to the number of frames and then it resets the number of frames counter and it resets that to one more. <coughs> which is interesting I just noticed this because it doesn't set it to current time it sets it to the last time plus one so it actually lets a little override happen there and it doesn't affect the uh, future calculations so the override's going to be a little bit different each time okay that's me thinking too much but and then I just display it frames per second plus you know convert it to convert the value to string and then I display it on screen it's a little brighter than less than the rest of the text on the screen so you'll see that and uh, there we go. So our frames per second right around uh, 25 to 30 right now. So that's pretty cool. All right, just wanted to share that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave comments below the video.